Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan is digitally cloned for an advertising campaign. AI-generated fashion models can be tall, short, plus-size, skinny, and apps can now help you furnish your home. Digital marketing is increasingly personalized with the help of AI. This is changing the advertising industry, but how exactly? That's our topic on Shift today. Acting has always been a competitive profession, but with the rise of artificial intelligence, actors are starting to fear for their careers. This is down to so-called generative AI, which is playing an increasingly important role in the film business. The same goes for the advertising industry. Here's an example from India, backed by serious star power. Can you imagine Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan promoting a small shop in your city? In fact, doing ads for thousands of shops all across India? We made it possible for every retailer in the country to create a video ad for themselves of like a big celebrity endorsing their shop. This became a reality thanks to generative AI advertising. Generative advertising means you no longer need to record every single piece of advertising. You can use the recent breakthroughs in generative AI technology and use people's digital clones to create hundreds of thousands of video ad creatives. In a campaign for the Hindu festival of lights, Diwali, AI startup Rephrase partnered with an international advertising agency and shot a short video with superstar Shah Rukh Khan. After training an AI model with this footage, the startup created a platform where small shop owners could produce their own Shah Rukh Khan advert. More than 100,000 entrepreneurs took advantage of the service. Royal fashion se hi, NK plots se hi, Paswali Lakshmi collection se hi. The world of advertising is changing, and thanks to AI, ads can now feature a variety of people depending on the audience they're intended for, without reshooting the video. You could even see celebrities rising from the dead to star in a commercial. I was born at an interesting time for Britain in 1874. As fascinating as this new technology is, the risks are obvious. Let's say a company has the rights to a celebrity's digital clone. How do they make sure the clone won't be used for another purpose? Rephrase AI, a company which turns text into video, checks every text input they receive. But Ashray Maholtra points out that it's always the creator who's responsible for how the software is used. Is this enough to convince celebrities that their digital reproduction is safe and won't be used in other contexts? And could AI help make ads more relevant for you? Or will celebrity endorsements completely lose their meaning? The possibilities for the marketing world are endless. Especially the ad industry makes use of data harvested online. This data is then analyzed and used by AI to create a perfectly tailored user experience. This is known as hyper-personalization. Let's take a look. AI can adjust the commercials that we are shown, depending on who sees it. With the help of user data, they will be tailored to us. Experts call this hyper-personalization. In the past, a single TV commercial would be produced for an entire country. But on social media, personalized advertising has become the standard. Now, the ads you see depend on your interests. With the help of AI, commercials will be able to target each person individually. It's going to be a hyper-personalized, one-to-one -one targeting video instead of using the same video ad creative and, and sending it to everyone. The ad campaign with Shah Rukh Khan from earlier made use of geodata. That means users got to see different versions of the clip depending on the area they lived in. But advertisers know a whole lot more about us than that. Hi, Dinesh. Promoting a movie about an undercover cop, Rephrase AI utilized user data such as the name or the last movie ticket purchased online. The Batman. This movie last theater, correct? 
That seems pretty creepy if you ask me, but it could become standard practice soon. Because AI allows celebrities to speak hundreds of different languages fluently. In an AI advertising campaign, Argentine superstar Lionel Messi invites fans to watch soccer together. He addresses the fans by name. Anyone can get a messy message. The idea behind the campaign is simple. The more personalized advertising becomes, the more successful it will be. A professor of marketing, Kirk Planger, is convinced of this. Having uh, a famous person speak their name specifically, um, it, it, it sort of thrills, thrills people. And, and that's why they want to share it. They want to um, uh, engage with that message. People want to see themselves reflected in advertising, but not everyone looks like the people we usually see in ads. That's why modeling agencies are increasingly embracing diversity. Models now come in all shapes, ages, colors and sizes. And people with disabilities are booked more and more too. However, engaging so many different people for their products is expensive for companies. That's paved the way for agencies that utilize AI fashion models. They're cheaper and just as diverse. The Amsterdam modeling agency La La Land wants to revolutionize the fashion industry. Their models aren't real people. You won't see them strutting down catwalks. Rather, they've been generated by artificial intelligence. The founder of the agency, Michael Musandu, sees a gap in the market. Looking historically, uh, why the company came into inception, I'm a person of color, means that I felt the pain point that you uh, and consumers do, where you never feel like you see a model that looks like yourself. So the best way to predict the future is to create it. And uh, in that lens, the reason that La Land was born was to create more representation. More and more fashion is being sold online. To give people back home a better idea of how an item will suit them, models online will be available in every size, age, and skin color. A cost-effective way for brands to represent diversity is via AI-generated fashion models. But when clothing brand Levi's announced a test collaboration with La La Land in early 2023, critics spoke out. When it comes to brands using AI-generated models, what we might see is an illusion of diversity, where the AI models are diverse, but the people on the payroll controlling those identities aren't. And that's a problem. Digital fashion models aren't completely new, though. Shuru Graham, or Nunuri, for example, they don't only look beautiful, but can actually work several jobs at once. They too caused a stir in the fashion scene, even before the AI boom. The possibilities are endless. I can depict them underwater, can have them dance on a volcano, I can even put them on a foreign planet. That's what makes it so fascinating. Just one of the reasons marketing professor Kirk Planger believes AI models will become popular in advertising. Generative AI models have tremendous potential to really talk to the consumer in a very specific and, and persuasive way because they can look very similar to themselves, uh, the, the consumer and themselves, or, um, or a family member, a trusted friend. But the expert also warns that this new technology could make consumers lose trust in companies. Regarding the, the crisis of trust, I think very soon, if not right now, we, we as consumers feel uh, really frustrated because we're not sure that that, that image, that video, that uh, recording of, of a voice is, is actually authentic. It's almost um, impossible to discern what, what is real and what is fake, uh, at least for the average consumer. Real or fake? It's a question we're having to ask ourselves more and more often when browsing online. So why not go all the way and have AI produce a commercial on its own? A London-based marketing company did just that and went viral with the results. The pictures are uncanny. Just look at the people and the beer cans. All images were created by text inputs, so-called prompts, mostly with the open source AI model Stable Diffusion. Another technology that makes online shopping easier is augmented reality. Nowadays, all you need to try out a new piece of furniture for your home is a smartphone. Will that armchair you spotted earlier look as good in your living room as it did in the showroom? 
Which pair of glasses suit you best? Holographic augmented reality apps allow users to test items before buying them online. They're increasingly being used in advertising. Last year, spending on AR campaigns more than doubled worldwide, totaling more than 3.2 billion euros. The apps open the doors for a new kind of online shopping. It's no longer about sell you something, it's about you to try something and then, and then you like it and you feel this is something you like and you can buy it. So it's like more like um, not just improve the marketing and advertisement experience but actually kind of pre-trial something in a low cost and a faster way. Using holographic AR apps is simpler than you might think. All you need is a smartphone. This is because the apps work with filters, much like those on Snapchat or Instagram. Anyone in the mood for redecorating can easily get out their smartphones and scan the room. The app then measures the space, recognizes prominent features such as windows and doors, and generates a 3D model. Tracking technology makes it possible to precisely follow the smartphone's movement in the room and place the furniture exactly where it's wanted. This is a technology still in the early stage, but in the future that will change how people feel about marketing at the right time. It's not like you see those junk emails or those phone calls or those, you know, um, you know, text, those things, right? It will be blended in. The much dreaded task of lugging new furniture up the stairs, however, is still a reality. But you can be sure of one thing. The new armchair will fit. Personalized advertising based on artificial intelligence and augmented reality has huge potential for advertisers. But when the algorithm predicts my interests too well, I do wonder, does it know too much? What do you think? Does hyper-personalized advertising appeal to you? Let us know. Bye and see you next time.